everyone, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts and I'm gonna show you how I made this light up rose Valentine's vase. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need for this project. Um, I got these light up flowers from Dollar Tree. You can see that, super cute. I got three of them, not sure if I'm gonna use all of them yet. Um, I got these heart picks, which I wanna put in there. And then I bought these adhesive jewels, which I'm going to try to figure out where I want to place them on my vase. The vase I got from Dollar Tree. And I have these ribbons right here also that I got from Dollar Tree. Not sure which ones I'm going to use yet. And then um, I have this shopping bag from the Dollar Tree, which I actually already used the other side. So I am going to see if I can use this in my project. So... What I'm gonna do with the shopping bag is I'm gonna cut it. I wanna put it inside of the base so you can see the hearts in there. So I am going to get this off of here. Get that out of the way. And then I'm gonna get this bag cut. Okay, I got my bag cut here. And then I have my base. So what I want to do is, obviously, it's a little bit wider at the bottom and smaller at the top. So I'm just going to take this and kind of wrap it around the outside to kind of see where about I need to cut so that I can get it. I want to be able to get it a good fit. So I'm just going to hold it like this. And then I am just going to cut it like this on an, kind of an angle. And then roll it up. Because the bottom needs to be bigger than the top, obviously. So. to do is I'm trying to get it so that it pushes up against the sides and kind of opens up a little bit so you can see it that cut right there as you can see that's going to be on the back side so that doesn't seem to be too bad I just got to cut a little bit off the top here Kind of keep cutting the paper till you get a good fit. Just to cut a little bit more here. Let's see how that fits. Yeah, got to roll it up tighter. That looks really cute. I like that. So I'm just going to keep cutting till I get a really good fit. I can see the bottom here doesn't look quite right. So I think I got a pretty good fit here. Let's roll it up and stick it in our vase. And then I'm just using one of the sticks. I use these hearts on a different project so I have the sticks left so I'm just using those to kind of push the ends of the, the shopping bag in there okay so I got the shopping bag in there and then the next thing that I want to do is with these flowers here so these flowers they come from the Dollar Tree and the button to turn them on is way at the bottom so obviously that's not gonna work when I stick my flowers in the vase. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this apart. I'm gonna unwrap the green off of here, which I already did on this one. So I just unwrapped some of the green. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my flowers in there. 
And then on the back of the base, I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna glue them on the back so that it'll be easy to turn on the flower. But I gotta get a good size here because I want, I want them to kinda, I don't wanna see all the, the wires. So I want to kind of get them in like this. And I do have three flowers here and I probably don't want them all the same height. So I'm probably going to have to cut some of them down and take some of the stuff off. So I'm thinking I'll probably have the two pink ones. Let's see if I can get that in there. Maybe I can go back a little bit. that up there okay so I think I'm gonna take the red one and put it down and then put the two pink ones up a little higher so let's get the placement right first so I'm, I have my wire cutters here so I'm just gonna chop a little section off and then I'm gonna take this bottom leaf off and put it in there I'm just kind of trying to get the arrangement right now. Like that. And then get the packaging off this one. I'm probably gonna have to take some of these leaves off because they're sticking up in really weird places because my base is kind of tall. So I think maybe I'll cut one of the pink ones down just a tad bit so they're all different. Okay, so I have my flowers in there, and then I'm going to stick those little things in there afterwards. They had pink ones at my Dollar Tree, but they didn't have red. I wish they would have had red. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work on getting these to the perfect height. This one I'm going to have to wrap up a little bit so that I don't have too much cord hanging off the back. So what I'm doing for the flowers is I'm just kind of measuring. Oh, let me get that stem off of there. I unwrapped this one way too far. So I'm kind of wrapping the paper back around there. I want to get a good fit so that when the wires pop up, they're here and they're not sticking up here. Okay, so that's pretty decent right there. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put this button on the back here so that I can turn the flower on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with my other two flowers and then I'll come back. So I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here. So I'm taking the floral tape off of here so I can get the button out like this. See, and then that button is free. Pull it off. And then I stick it in my vase to kind of measure the size to see where there. See, that's too low. So I'm gonna have to wrap the wrap it up a little bit more. All right. Let's try that. Let's stick it in the base. That's a little too tight. There's a lot of wires going on here. Okay, so I'm thinking right about here. I'm going to take these out real quick. I got those ready to go. Let's stick it in here. Now I kind of want it to go like that, so it's a little tight yet. All right, let's try that. Okay, there. Then with the flower all the way down, I can get it this way on my base. Okay, I was just waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up. So I have my flowers all sized up here. So I'm gonna stick them in here. Now this is the front of the vase. As you can see, my shopping bag, it says love. 
you can see that on there so that's going to be the front and then where the seam is for my paper that's going to be the back of the base so that's where we're going to put our buttons so we don't see them so i'm just going to kind of so the red actually let's do the red one first i'm going to cut this little end off of here all right, so we're gonna put the red flower in first cause that one's gonna go in the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a dab of hot glue on the button and I'm gonna glue it right to the base. as you can see it's kind of hard to see but the lights on but I got a little bit of extra extra floral tape on this one I just kind of got crazy and wrapped it up I'm just gonna cut that off so that doesn't show all right then we got our two pink ones that we're gonna put in there on the sides that button right next to that one. And this is going to be on the back side of the vase, so you won't see it, but this is the only way I could think of to put it together so that you could still turn the flowers on once they're in the vase. I'm just going to kind of wrap that extra cord a little bit down there. And then the other pink one. Oh, <laughs> I just turned it on holding it on. Okay, and then I have my buttons. Look at that. They all turn on. All right, so I have that in there. And then the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to put these heart picks in here. Now, I noticed that these are not really quite tall enough, but I have these extra sticks here. So I am actually just gonna, oh, sorry. <laughs> I have the extra six here from the hearts that I use on a different project. So I am just gonna increase the height of these to put them in there. And I saved a little bit of the floral tape that I took off of the other ones or off of the, the roses. So I'm just gonna take some of that floral tape and wrap it around here. And then stick my heart in there. And then I'm going to do uh, another one, but I want to do one a little higher up, I think. Kind of like that. So I'm just going to grab some more of the floral tape. wrap it around there stick it in there Let's try to arrange that in there a little bit better I want to do one more pick but I really kind of want it up higher in the back let's see if I I don't know if I have a tall enough stick to do that <laughs> it's not quite tall enough 
but I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. wanted to do is I have these jewels here, these stick on gems. Now, I, what I originally wanted to do was put it around here, but I really like the way the shopping bag shows through there, but you can kind of see the bottom. So I think I'm just going to put some along the bottom so you can't see, see all that. Okay, so I'm just kind of arranging my flowers here. Um, these are on wires, so you can kind of bend them out a little bit so they're not all sticking right together. And then I'm just kind of arranging my, my pink hearts in there. It's way too small. All right, so I got my last pink heart here that I'm sticking in there. I wish these were on wires. It'd be so much easier to kind of stick out. Okay, so there I have my base. Let's see if you can see that. And then when I hit the buttons on the back, they light up. Okay, so I am going to cut, I'm thinking, let's see if I can get that in there. Um, possibly, maybe three up on the jewels. So. Yep, wrong way, I'm gonna have to cut it the long way. So I'm just cutting them. That should go all the way around it. So this is basically just to cover up the shopping bag on the bottom. So I'm going to measure that. Then I'm going to take the adhesive off the back. And then just kind of stick it on the bottom here. And then go around. There. And that will cover up the bottom of the shopping bag so you don't see that. I wish I had some wire so I could make these stick out a little bit farther. These hearts just kind of all seem to go in one spot. to stick up a little bit more so I'm just gonna actually stick a little bit of hot glue in here and just kind of glue it to the side so I can get it to stick up a little bit just doesn't seem full enough I actually think I might Just take this off here. I'm just kind of glue that to the side of the vase also. I'm just gonna chop this stick off here. I'm just gonna glue it right where I want it. Cause it's just not, cause of the stick, it's just not sticking where I want it to. A little hot glue to the side of the vase. Alright, so I have one more heart here. Oop. Oh, losing my hot glue. 
I want it sticking up just a tad bit higher, so stick it right on the stick and then stick it right to the base. I decided that three was too much. Three rows of the gems was too much at the bottom, so I decided to cut it down and I just went with one row. So I'm just going to stick that one row on here right at the bottom it just did not look right there that looks a little better but that looks better okay then the next the or the, i should say the last thing that i want to do is I want to put ribbon around here because I want to hide these buttons in the back. So I was kind of playing around with this one. This one seems a little bit thick, but I don't know, maybe I can make it work. And this one seems too thin. So I'm just going to kind of play around with them for a little bit because like I said, I want to try to hide the buttons a little bit in the back. I mean, not that you're really going to see them when they're sitting there, you know, it's sitting there like that, but I'm just going to play around with the ribbon and see what I come up with. Okay, so after staring at it, I think I decided to go with the thick ribbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of, I think I'm going to put this around and then I'm going to attach the ribbon. So I'm just going to wrap this around and maybe I'll double it up like this. Uh, this wire ribbon's kind of hard. It works better on wreaths. I think I cut that one a little short. And cut a little bit longer one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this on here. I'm going to try to wrap it around. Get a little glue on the bottom here. to kind of tuck it in because the base is tapered. I really got to get one of those rubber fingers so I stop burning my fingertips. I got that wrapped around and then I have to shape my my ribbon here I'll try to get this on camera I am NOT the best at making ribbons so I just kind of kind of fold it like this up farther. So I'm going to take some of this other ribbon that I have and tie it around the center of my ribbon. Like that. 
and then I am going to hot glue it onto here. This is probably too big for this base, but I'm just going to go with it because I really, really, really like this wire grip and it's so super cute. The glittery hearts on it. Great. And then I'm just going to cut that off. And then I am going to center this here. stick it right on the base right there and hit the buttons in the back turn the flowers on glue up here. I was finishing up. I decided I had one little pink heart left over, so I'm going to stick it right in the center of my my bow right here. So So I noticed that my one side, my ribbon was a little bit too long. So I'm just going to put a little hot glue in here and shorten up my ribbon on the one side. So it doesn't look quite as bad. I should have looked at that before I glued it on there. So I'm just going to stick that in there and shorten it up a little bit. Okay. Then in, um, I had it all finished, but I actually went to Dollar Tree and I found some red hearts so this is gonna make I think it look a lot better because there's just way too much pink in here so I am going to stick the red hearts in here I'm just kind of little glue on here and glue it to the side of the vase I'll probably have to get a little bit more glue on there and this one I'm going to stick in the back. I think it just makes it a little bit fuller and adds a little bit more because there was just not, just not enough red in it. And I kind of scrunched this ribbon up in the back too and in the front because I didn't like the way that it was sitting. So there I have my Dollar Tree base. So I can, uh, it's hard to get the whole thing in there. And then I have my buttons on the back to turn the lights on. So there is my lighted rose valentine's vase. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're inspired to make your own crafts. Um, take care and subscribe. Thank you.